Hey everyone, Alicia here from Stretch It App, and on today's episode of Stretch It Fundamentals, we cover front splits. We'll go over the proper technique, the exercises to help improve those techniques, and common mistakes we often find in training front splits. Before we get started, just wanted to cover a few props you will need for class. Two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, make sure you do the low lunge positions, maybe near a chair or a sofa, something that's sturdy so you can safely put your weight on. A strap for the hamstring stretch, if not a strap, a thoroughband can do, or a towel or a long piece of clothing that you can wrap around the arch. And lastly, a pillow for your back knee when practicing the front split position. If not a pillow and you have a mat, you can fold the edge in as many times as you need for it to be soft, or you can roll a towel under your knee as well. What we're looking to achieve technique-wise in a front split is to have the body as upright as possible. Now, yes, you can lean forward if you wish to deliberately stretch the hamstrings of your front leg, but I find that most people have a hard time staying upright using their back hip extension for a squared position and not using the right props in order to help themselves stay high. What we can do is bend the front knee, keep the foot in front, and then use the blocks to help, again, keep the torso on top of the pelvis, the navel back, and actively squeeze your hip down. We just don't want to sink into the legs. We want to actively squeeze the left glute, seeing if we can contract to therefore open the psoas of the left hip. And in order to then focus on the hamstrings, I think it's easier to take a hamstring stretch on our back with the strap. Taking a strap around one arch, extending the knee, make sure you have enough space for the leg to completely straighten it because if it's bent, then that means we have to move it away. You can also extend the opposite leg. Ensure, however, that your knee is straight and you're pressing your hip into the ground. Also, the floor serves as feedback to make sure that our tailbone is flat. We don't want it to peel off the mat. If we can keep it pressing down into the mat and then move the leg closer from there without bending the knee, that will better target the hamstrings. After we've done our low lunge position and our hamstring stretch to actually practice the split, you can place a pillow on your back knee, take your blocks again, have one either side of your hip, bending knee, foot in front, blocks by your hip, trying to now get your hip low by squeezing it down and keeping the chest high. A few mistakes I've seen from students practicing front split is that they overemphasize the front leg, keep their weight forward and turn out their back hip in order to get lower. Sure, you might get lower, but now you're overusing the hamstrings of the front leg and not relying enough on your back hip extension in order to create that depth. Another mistake is to not use the proper equipment. So if you do have sensitive knees and you are practicing front splits, make sure you do place something on your knees so you're able to stay in the position longer, more comfortably. And lastly, try to practice the actual split position more than once. So if it's uncomfortable the first time around, ease out of it, take a second, and then practice it again because the more you practice the actual technique, the better it feels on your body and the more often you'll be able to remember how to do it. If you want to improve your splits, please check out our classes on the app. You can find the link down below in the description box. And if you want to see more classes like these, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.